You have 24 hours in a day to do whatever you want to do. Question is, what do you want to do? So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to respect your time. So I think it's absolutely astonishing how we as human beings don't respect time. Like, it just blows my mind. You know, if we look at renewable resources, time is not one of them. Health, you know, depending on like what stage of your life you're in, is a renewable resource. Money is definitely a renewable resource. Commodities are renewable resources. What's not renewable is time, okay? I, I can't reverse time. I can't go get more time, but I can manage my time better. And it's hilarious when I see people waiting in line to save like 20 bucks. Like for example, like, like I'm an annual pass holder at um, Universal Studios. So when I see people that are willing to wait in line for like four or five hours for a ride, like what, you could just get a fast pass, homie. Like pay the extra 30 bucks or 50 bucks, or whatever, and just go right in. And you just saved a shitload of time. Like. It's worth it. So whatever you want to do in life, all you have to focus on is time management and respecting yourself. Because if you respect yourself, you'll realize that we only have a certain amount of time and that we need to use every single second of it to accomplish our goals. So what I want to do is share with you how I've learned um, to save my time and buy my time back. So what I've actually learned in like the last month is that owning a car is a bad idea because you can uber everywhere like you like i know the song whatever but you literally are probably better off ubering like for example on my just for my insurance and my car alone i pay like a little over a thousand dollars a month and i've done the math and calculated everything and if you include gas and all that with my car expense i can literally uber, take an uber like three to four times a day for an entire month and it'll be equal to my car bill for the month which is ridiculous. And the reason why Uber is so important is because you don't actually have to drive. <laughs> like, you can take a nap, you can be checking your emails and responding back to clients, you can be just playing a video, I mean, whatever you wanna do, you can do it in the back of an Uber and not have to focus on driving. That's why Uber is so important, and that's why Uber and just rideshare in general eventually is gonna dominate, like seriously dominate. Self-driving cars are where it's at. Another thing I've learned that's super important is chunking your time into like buckets. The reason why that's so important is because most people live their lives like very sporadically. It's not really well planned. They'll like, for example, I used to take calls every single day of the week and I, I would be dependent on the schedule of whoever's scheduling the call and now I only take calls on certain days of the weeks and all my focus on those days is on my calls so back to back to back to back calls closing deals and, and that's my only focus for that certain time of the week and then I have two other days that I only spend on working on my business and developing systems and processes in my business those are another two days it's spent that way and then another two days is just like reflecting on myself reflecting on like my life and, and how I can do things better in general so like it every Everything needs to be set into like blocks, blocks of time so that you can focus on like a specific thing and accomplish that specific goal. And the way you set these blocks is by understanding what you're trying to accomplish and reverse engineering that so that you can be successful at accomplishing that goal. Okay, everything is reverse engineering, guys. That is the key to winning at life. Figure out what you want and then figure out how you're going to accomplish it and then do it. Take massive action towards that goal. That's how you win. Remember, the objective every day is to maximize your efficiency and output so that you can slay the day. What I'm learning about this like thing we call life is that the way to be the most productive is by scheduling everything out. Your life should be on a calendar. So like for me at this point in time, like if it's not on a calendar, it's not happening. Okay, so that's why every time someone reaches out to me, they're like, Laura, let me take you out to dinner. I'm like, what? No, how about you just book a call with me because obviously you want to pick my brain about something um, and instead of wasting both of our times with getting food or whatever, like how about we just get on a call, get serious and like diagnose the situation. Why not, you know? So it, if you're not on my calendar, it's it's not that hard to get on it. You just have to like book a call. But the point is, at this point in my life, I realize how valuable time is. And I can't just give that valuable resource to people that aren't serious about their time. That's just me being real.
All right, so if you guys have any questions for me, just drop it in the comments. Remember, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Actually, this is a daily vlog, so I'll see you tomorrow.